Hello, welcome to Roy B. Man of Merlin. And in this new series, I'm going to be covering many different topics on men's health, mental, emotional, natural, spiritual. I'm a very, very spiritual person. I think this is my the predominant theme of my channel, as much as I'll cover all the others in later videos. In this particular video, I'm going to be covering our soul uh, purpose in life, soul purpose, personal purpose, and the importance of that for men on their spiritual journey and their physical and emotional and mental journey too. There'll be more about that later in the video. First of all, always remember to like and subscribe this channel and help support these new channels growing. So understanding purpose, why is that vitally important? That it's a vitally important thing for a human being to know why we're here, why we exist. Why is it more important for men than women? More often than not, it, more often than not, it's not. However, for men, we have this inherent energy within us where we need something to aim for. We need something that's ours to protect and nurture. And that's how we do it as men. We're not natural nurture, nurturers, we're protectors. And having that purpose and that something to continually repair and fix, what gives us our inner deep core existence. My purpose, it took so long in my life to find. We don't always know our purpose in our early life. Some people we may consider lucky that know their purpose from a young age. A piano player might start playing a piano when they're three and that's what they do and that's what they learn and that's what they become for the rest of their life. A lot more, other, a lot more others, especially tradesmen, we find out, don't find our purpose until our teenage years. And well, maybe we started fixing cars with our dad or going to work with our dad and learning a trade. And we found out that we just really enjoyed doing that, whether it's electricians or plumbers or carpenters. And we enjoy working with our hands. I mean, I grew up being an electrician. For me, it actually wasn't a purpose. It, it, well, it, was, it led me to my purpose, should I say. So even if you're in your early 20s, your mid 20s, your late 20s, your early 30s and so on, and you still haven't found your purpose, you're still being led to it you're learning all the components of the purpose so technically you're on your purpose you're just not necessarily understanding what that main core of our of your purpose may be just like me i chose to be an electrician when i left school and i grew up in a you know, working class family where it's like that the the mantra around was you know you have a trade you'll always have a job for your life which in theory, can be true. But your purpose is a really deep, energetic calling. And it will lead you on a very winding, varied, sometimes dark, sometimes lost path to help you discover. Because you've got to learn many keys along the way. These days, I'm a men's health coach and spiritual counsellor. So I've had to go through a lot of life journeys that's led me to my purpose, which is helping and guiding others and opening others up to their spiritual journey and balancing the masculine and feminine energies, balancing mental and emotional and spiritual and learning how to balance energies. And for me to get to that purpose, I've had to understand what it means to have those energies unbalanced we learn from our shadow. We, as humans, we learn from our mistakes. So to learn, you've got to make a mistake in the first place. And making mistakes in life, is the, they are the most powerful teachings. And what is purpose in the context of spiritual health? It's that reason we were incarnated down into Mother Earth. This purpose that helps the whole. The, this purpose that brings our energy and our unique signature to 7 billion other people. To the whole collective energy of Mother Earth. 
And it doesn't necessarily have to be grand or career related. Some people's purpose is to be a parent, you know, become a foster parent and raise children that aren't your own. That is a purpose. It doesn't necessarily have to be grandeur like a TV star or a movie star or a musician or a politician or a Nobel Prize winner. It might just be a very, very localised purpose where you just live in your local community your whole life and make a difference there that has a long-lasting effect for generations to come who live in that area where they hear the stories of who you were throughout your life. So never think that just because you live in a remote area that you're not having a purpose. And sometimes purposes are unseen. You're there to just help the energy of the land. You might just tend to a garden that for whatever unknown reason, especially on a spiritual aspect, is helping the land energetically. And your purpose is to help Mother Earth in one small space. And that might not seem a big thing, but to Mother Earth and the land, that is a gigantic thing. It's just not a human grabbable thing. So having a purpose and knowing a purpose is a key thing as a human. The importance of purpose as a man is to have that thing to protect, to know why you're here, that that inner warrior, that inner king knows what they're here to do. Having knowledge of that purpose also helps men with our mental health. And these days, mental health is such an important component of a man's journey through life. Having a strong mental fortitude and having a peaceful life is imperative to us being at our strongest emotionally, mentally, physically and spiritually and for our soul. It also helps us with relationships with others. When we know our purpose, we, we stand taller, we stand stronger, we're more confident, we're more helpful to those um in the earlier stage of their journey, you know, our children. And it, we're even stronger to our peers. We're more wiser, we're more calmer. We're certainly less angry when we know our purpose because we're not running around, we're not frustrated. As a man, you might find that we don't, we're, if you really delved into it, we're not angry, we're more frustrated. We just express that energy in motion, that emotion, that energy and motion through anger, it, that's the, the eruption of the, frust of the frustration that builds up. So having a purpose, it's obviously a key thing throughout our life. So how do we find that? If we don't know what it is now, no matter what age you are, how do you find that? And I find that life leaves breadcrumbs. I'm not a big fan of the term devil's in the details, but our purpose is in the details. Use that value instead. It's a lot more positive. And our purpose is in the details. So look at what you did from the ages of 0 to 10 as best you can remember. What, you, what did you enjoy doing that you didn't have to think about to go and do? It doesn't matter what it is. If, if you, all you ever did was play with um, G.I. Joe or Action Man, which is the English version, and... Uh, you're wondering whether to join the armed forces or not, that's a bit of a pointer. Because again, our purpose, you might, you can affect a lot of people being in the armed forces. I myself have done that journey. You're around other men all the time. And whether you're an influencer or one that prefers to be in the background and be influenced, there's always a purpose. So, Look at what you did. Maybe you used to cycle a lot and, or travel. And there's a purpose in that, that you might be, that your purpose in life might be a, a travel guru. And that you find out all these nice little places where people can travel to and know that they'll be safe. And that the universe backs you up and provides the finances and, and all the ways and means to be able to, <clears throat> to, to facilitate that journey and that purpose. The thing with your life purpose your life will always guide you to it. It's just a case of recognising what your purpose is rather than what 
people want your purpose to be, invariably parents. So again, if you're feeling lost and confused about your purpose, take some time, a good hour, and write down all your passions. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, even if it's gaming. In this modern world, there's so many people that actually make a really good living out of gaming online and putting up videos on YouTube. So there's so many options for purposes to be a lucrative thing that can support you, can support your family, can support a life that you want and you deserve. It's another reason for a purpose. It supports you. When you're in alignment with your purpose, it supports your life. I love helping others. I love opening others to their journey, to their purpose. So you could say that my purpose is helping others find their purpose. Leave some, definitely leave comments about where you are on your, your purpose, whether you know it or not, whether you're not sure what it is. And I'll do my best to answer them all. And also, you know, in links in the comments and links in the description, you can also reach out. And I'm more than happy to guide and help you to find what your purpose is. Intuition is another key component that helps us find our purpose. It aligns us with our energy, it aligns us with our soul's journey, which is our purpose. So exercises to strengthen intuition are key as well. And that's a whole video on its own, which I'll probably more than likely get to in another video. So definitely like and subscribe this channel so you get notified of future videos. And also put a thumbs up or a thumbs down because that helps me understand what works and what doesn't. So that I can more tailor my videos to my subscribers, my viewers. And so you'll more likely enjoy what's being presented. Because the spiritual journey and the journey of purpose is so vast and complex and intricate and contains so many different things. Your purpose can be a bus driver, your purpose can be a singer, your purpose can be a sports person, your purpose can be just a parent or a carer, whether it's for humans or animals. Never dismiss what you feel deep inside what your purpose is. And going back to taking time to find your purpose if you don't know what it is. Just take, just get magazines. Go to a shop where there's lots of magazines and, and pick a magazine that you're drawn to and see what pictures you're drawn to. Beforehand, just have clear in your mind, what is my purpose? And see what comes to you over the next seven days. And see if there's any repeating themes. Now, the one thing is that the universe does talk in obscure and cryptic ways at times. So to get repetitive messages, it may not on surface be as obvious as what it presents. It may well be that too, of course. So remember that your purpose can be anything. As long as it's meaningful to you, it doesn't have to be meaningful to anybody else. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be good for what your parents want from you. So many parents do want us to go to college and all those things, but a lot of us are artists and creators. And being in the mind is not how we operate in life. Men are creators too. We are creative, we are, can be in our heart. Being that benevolent king energy we are more compassionate, but we're still strong. We can still walk tall and be proud of who we are. And finding your purpose helps you become proud of who you are. So remember to share your experiences in the comments, like and subscribe, even suggest future topics you'd like to see in future videos. And I'll certainly take that on board. And I'll create videos around those topics because it's what you want. Yes, it's my channel and I'll do videos of what I feel are relevant. I've been doing this very strong masculine and feminine balanced journey for many years as a tradie 
in the armed forces, through martial arts, through the indoor security, doing very, very strong masculine roles and holding this strong feminine intuitive side within me throughout that time. And I feel it's given me a good balance. So definitely tune in for future videos. I'll discuss different other men's health topics in the future. And I appreciate your time for watching. See you again soon. I'm Roy B. Man of Merlin. Take care. Bye-bye.